Um, obviously, you've been in with with a lot of big names. Our own Amir Khan, who you gave uh, jitters to in the fights. It was I was there that night. It was um, you're a terrific, aggressive, uh, come forward fighter. We know what you do. Um, do you think that Conor Ben may be underestimating you, and that maybe he's? Do you think he's a little overhyped at this point? Um, I don't care what he thinks, to be honest. Um... He, they have hopes for him here, I guess, but I don't, I, I don't see it personally. Um, but I mean, if he's take, if he's, if he's under uh, underestimating me, the better it is for me, to be honest. So, what, what do you make of his style? Do you still see him as, as fairly raw as a boxer? What did you take away for the, from the Formella performance? He, he uh, um. He's a strong, strong young fighter. He's, he's really, he's really young. He's really strong. He's gonna come out strong, I think. Uh, he looks physically fit all the time, so I'm expecting a really strong guy. But I don't. He seems very wild. Makes mistakes that you know he has to pay for. And is that what you're looking for in this fight? Then obviously you've got much more vast experience compared to him. Are you looking to take him into the trenches? And and disrupt his 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 growth as a as a pro boxer. Yeah, I mean that's that's part of the plan. I mean we we gotta break him down, take his take his soul, and break him down little by little. I mean he 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 doesn't have the experience um, to to hand to handle that. You know he's gotta have the same energy he has in the first round and then the ninth, tenth, eleventh. So we'll see about that. Best of luck on Saturday night, Sammy. Great to speak to you and great to see you look very well. Thank you, man. Appreciate you guys. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Gareth. We've got to Jonathan from Pro Boxing Fans. It's done. Hey, Samuel. Um, last time out, you fought another undefeated young fighter in Virgil Ortiz. How do you compare the threat of Virgil Ortiz to Conor Ben on Saturday night? Listen, man, this is personal boxing. Everybody's a threat. Everybody, especially at this level, everybody's a threat. Um, I, I can't compare him to Virgil Ortiz, obviously. Virgil, Virgil Ortiz, I think it's, it's far, far, far ahead of the game for this conversation. Um, but obviously, I took this, this, this fight very serious. I had a great training camp, worked my ass off. I'm really focused and, uh, you know, can't wait to get in there, to be honest. What would a win for you over Conor Ben on Saturday do for your career? Um, you know, I'm, I've been... Last time I was here in the UK, I I came close to to closing the show, but I didn't I didn't I didn't didn't have enough time in the round. So this time I want to bring the same energy, but this time I have to finish the job, and you know, it will mean a lot to me personally, and and, and uh, you know, my boxing career will be a staple for sure. And uh, Connor said that he expects the fight to be sort of an all action fight, both of you going at it. Do you believe that's how the fight will play out on Saturday? Oh, absolutely. I expect uh, a lot of fans that to, to tune in and watch the fight. It's going to be a hell of a show. I know when I'm bringing the heat, he's, he's going to do what, he's, what he wants, what, he, what he's going to be able to do. And, um, you know, I just want to thank all the UK fans for all the messages. I get a lot of messages and support here from the UK. So uh, I just want to say thank you, everybody, for the love. Cheers, Samuel. Best of luck Saturday night. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Jonathan. If we go to Carlos Toro next, please. Hey, Sammy, thanks so much for taking time to talk to us. Really appreciate it. You know, it, it's been some time since you had the, you, since you last fought in the UK with the Amir Khan fight. I mean, when you look at the that's passed since then and the fights that you've had since that time uh, against Amir Khan, how do you sort of view yourself now as a, versus how you were back then? How, do, how much have you sort of learned in that time since the Amir Khan fight? Night and day, night and day, uh, uh, mature a lot more, mature uh, uh, in the ring, outside the ring. I, I, I behave different. I, I, I treat it more. I enjoy, I enjoy training camp now. I really love training camp. Um, it's something that I've fallen in love with the process of doing. The, the, this week, I've had a great, uh, great week. Um, you know, it's just, it just comes with experience. I think um, I've become a better fighter. I'm a completely different fighter for sure. Uh, stronger mentally, physically. Uh, and more, more experience, obviously. You know, obviously, it might not be in an answer. A question that you might fully answer now until you step into the ring. But when you look at Connor Ben and how do you sort of 
compare him or stack him up against some of the other fighters that you faced who were also at the time, you know, young, undefeated, making their their way up the rankings like a Errol Spence or a Virgil Ortiz as you fought in the past? Well, you got that right. Um, I can't really answer that right now. To be to be fair, I can't give you a, a fair answer. I know he's got a he's got a great record. They're building up, building him up nice. He's got a, a last last minute uh, replacement opponents, which you know he's doing his thing. But um, I don't I don't really see him. Uh, I don't I can't really answer that question. I don't see him winning this fight with me at all. I don't see him um, being victorious at all. I don't see him being um, as successful as. He was with Formel Formella or his other fights. Thanks, Amy. Best of luck to you on Saturday. Thanks, Carlos. Go to Ron Lewis for boxing scene next, please. Uh, hi, Sammy. Nice to see you. Um, and welcome, welcome to London. Um, Thank you. At this stage, at this stage of your career, um, what do you think this this um, win can do for you? And what do you think? What are you looking forward to, sort of ambition-wise, with, with the rest of your career? Are you looking to have two or three big fights, or do you think you can still win this and you can get back into title contention? Uh, what I can do for my career? Listen, man, I take it a fight at a time. I take it a fight at a time. Like I said, I'm having, I'm, I'm, I'm falling, falling in love with, with, with the process of, of, of training camp, and uh, take it a fight at a time. You know, like I'm not, I'm not one to step ahead of my game and say I want to do this and that after the fight. Um, I take it at five at a time and we'll go from there. So, so far, um, I'm, I, I love the UK. I, lo I, lo I have a good energy around me right now. I think I'm going to have a good momentum uh, at this moment in my career. So me and Bones, uh, I don't, uh, we, 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 we hit it off right. I've learned a lot, improved a lot, and I'm really looking forward to my, my next few fights for sure. Uh, I mean, obviously you've been, you've been together with Bones for a bit now. And, and how, how would you compare yourself as you are as a fighter now, to when you came over and, and boxed Khan over here, do you think do you think you're a smarter fighter now? You you you, you can put it on later in the fight, maybe. Oh man, I completely different man. Training, I, the experience alone, and, and just working with Bones, I, I'm just improving, uh, improving a lot more uh, in my boxing IQ, uh, my my technique, ring leadership. Uh, everything is different about me, to be honest, compared to the Khan fight. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I'm excited for that. I'm a completely different fighter, definitely. Excellent. Cheers, Sammy. Take care, mate. Yeah. Thanks, Ron. Go to Joe from Seconds Out, please. Hi, Sammy. How are you, mate? Good, good, man. Good. So first thing I want to ask you, obviously, you've come over to the UK and you fought here before. What are your thoughts on the recent judging? Um, because there's been a few controversial decisions, obviously, Kiko Martinez versus Alpha Barrett and, and numerous a, 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 across the past few years. Do you worry about that when coming to the UK? Uh, that's always a worry here. I mean, uh, the news are, uh, you, know, the, you know the news and the headlines. But uh, I'm confident in, in, in the work I put in the training camp. I'm confident in my ability. So I, just, I, I leave it up to God, to be honest. And, if I can close the show, I'll close the show. Does that become more of a priority in, in the build-up to a fight in the UK going for the knockout? Uh, I mean, as you've seen, as you said before, like they're not gonna they're not gonna favor me or, or give me uh from what you're from what you're saying a fair decision. So yes. And Amir Khan, one of your former opponents, has recently spoke about fighting Kell Brook. I know that fight's been in talks, you could say, for what feels like years and years and years now. Who would you back if that fight was to happen? Uh, that's easy. The special one. <laughs> the special one. Yes, sir. You already know. What What in particular about Kell Brook do you think gets him the win? Uh so many things. I mean, um, I know him personally. I've trained with him, sparred with him many times. He, he can, he can turn it up. He, he's just really, really strong, strong puncher. Um, and you know, I think that there's there's so many aspects and different things that he does that, um, that will get him the win. I believe. Look forward to seeing a great fight on Saturday. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Thanks, Joe. If you go to Ames next, please. Ames here for boxing. You Pleasure to meet you, Sammy. How you doing? Good, man. Good, man. Good to hear. Um, Sammy, you've been uh, on the road numerous times throughout your career. I'm just wondering how coming to Britain compares to going to places like Colombia uh, and other places that you've been around the world. Uh, 
to be honest, uh, the, uh, I like it here. I get a lot of support and a lot of a lot of messages, a lot of love. So that's the one good thing. Um, it's it's hard to it's hard to answer that question because of this whole pandemic thing and the bubble. But I mean, I, I don't mind it here. I like it, man. To be honest, except this whole, whole bubble and things we're going through right now. But um, yeah, no, it's so far so good. When did you come over? Um, a week ago. A week ago. Would you like to come earlier? No, no, this is fine. This is fine. I think um, um, I would just do the time is per perfectly fine and I feel great. Uh, Connor says, I said in an interview that he's asked for the fight with yourself a lot of times um, and it hadn't happened, but it's happen happening now. When was the first time you and Connor had conversations about the fight taking place in the past? Uh, several times. He used to use to mention me all the time on Instagram. Like I was like, God damn, man, I'm not promoted. And then and then he was just chatting on Instagram here and there all the time. And then he just started calling me out. And then I was like, sure. Finally, if he, you know, if he wants to fight, let's make the fight happen and let's see if the dog can, can fight as much as he talks. You know what I'm saying? So here we are. Um, I just want to get your thoughts on a couple of things in the well wait scene. Jeron Ennis is taking on Sergey Lipinitz. What's your thoughts on that fight? Um, Jerome Ennis is a bad man, man. I call him Boots for a reason. He, he's he got all the skills, the power. Uh, I, I, I think he takes the fight, to be honest. But I mean, I know Lippinitz has a great team, great trainers. Uh, so uh, it'll be interesting, but i um, sort of, I'll, I'll take Lippinitz over that. I mean, um, what's his name? Ennis. And uh, finally, uh, there's been talk about uh, Connor taking on Kel Brooker and Mir Khan. Uh, could I get your take on how you think Conor Ben would fare against if you fought you uh, someone you fought in the past, Amir Khan? How do you think he'd get on? Uh, I don't, I don't like, I don't, I don't, I don't. I never thought of that to be honest. I don't, I don't care. Uh, I don't, I, I don't think he's had, he's had, he's seen the experience. I don't think he he would ever be he, at this point. I don't think he's he's uh he would even come close to knocking him, knocking him, you know, hitting this guy's cleaner at all. Wish you all the best for the weekend. Thank you. Thanks, man. No worries. Thanks, James. We go to Brett next, please. Cheers, Dan. Sammy, great to have the opportunity to speak with you. How are you keeping, buddy? Good, man. Good. Right, great to hear with you. We'll get into it then. Um, obviously, a 31-year-old tough guy, but got a Columbia. You, 23 out of your 39 fights have actually gone the distance. Do you think there's an element of that you could have been involved in too many wars and potentially when you came out last time against uh, Virgil Ortiz? That that sapped a lot from you being involved in too many punching wars. Not at all, not at all. Actually, um, uh, I, 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 I believe my my defense has improved a lot um, the past few years. Uh, I, I definitely, I'm definitely stubborn and love to fight. I choose to fight. That's what I love to do. That's the reason I have a lot of fans and people love me everywhere. But uh, I believe with experience, you know, become a little more wiser and pick pick your times, pick your shots. And, and uh, you got to also think that um, I'm a guy that only had, what, 10 amateur fights, 11 amateur fights. So, I'm, you know, I'm still, took me a while to, to settle and grow in the sport as well. Yeah, you, you seem really confident in all of the questions that everybody else has posed to you. Do you feel like now at a stage in your career, you're really coming into your prime? Uh, I believe so. Not only my prime, but also smarter, wiser. I mean... I've been up and up and down. Uh, I've fought the great ones. I've fought champions. Uh, I've, I've been through it all, man. I've, I've, I've had great victories with my family and my son is there. Or I've been been beat up so bad where I wake up in the hot tub with my ears bleeding. You know, I've seen it all, man. I've been broke and I'm here, you know. I'm, my life is beautiful, so boxing has made, made the best of it in my life. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. My last question is, you know, you said a minute ago when you mentioned um, Virgil Ortiz that you didn't really think he could, he could be considered within this conversation. But somebody like Conor Ben has got a very similar fighting style. He likes to come forward, he likes to pressure, and he likes to throw punches in bunches. What do you think you can see from Conor Ben uh, that you will expose as a weakness on Saturday? Oh, I mean, there's a lot of holes in his game that, that, that I, like, uh, you know, he, he he leads with his body, with his head a lot. His hands are always down. 
um, little things like that. Like when you look at Virgil Ortiz, he just comes forward like a like like a like a powerhouse, and just like his last fight, you know, they pretty much hurt the guy with the, hurt the guy's arm, which is like me, you know. He, he, technically, is a much uh, there's a lot of uh, technical mistakes that I see. Okay, Sammy, great. Thanks very much for your time, and I wish you every bit of success for Saturday, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Okay. Is there any more questions for Sammy? Yep. Steve from Boxing UK. Hi, Sammy. It's Steve from Boxing UK. Hey, what's up, man? Hello, mate. Sammy, you've obviously fought at a much higher level than Connor. What advantages do you think that'll give you on Saturday? Um, just just relaxed. I'll be a bit more calm. Um, and just just... I I know what it feels. I know what it feels like to be there a couple of times in the tenth, the twelve. It's it's just it's ingrained in my mind that I know what it feels like. I know the emotions. I know what I'm supposed to do, and just experience. I feel I feel a lot, a lot better. Can I ask from our perspective, Sammy? The narrative that we're getting over here is that you're being brought over as the next step up for Conor Ben. What's your response to that? They can say whatever they want, but nothing is said and done until we get in the ring. Like, I don't care what they say. I haven't read anything. I haven't even seen any of the interviews because I don't care. I know it's gonna be. All, I know all the interviews are gonna be like that, so I don't watch it. It's just irrelevant to me. But everyone's got their opinion. Everyone, like I said, they're, they're behind the kid for a reason. So we'll, we'll meet in the center of the ring and then we'll find out. Have you watched Conor Ben's fights in any detail preparing for this, Sammy? Yeah, I watched a few. I watched a few. And what do you think he's going to bring in particular that might worry you? The same things he's been doing every fight. Just come forward and fight. That's, that's what he's going to do. I don't and think, um, like I said before, at, at, at this point in, 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 in boxing or anybody's career, everybody's dangerous. Anybody can hurt anybody. So I, tr I take it very serious and I'm expecting him to come to war and that's what I'm ready for. And what can you offer Connor that he might not have had before? A right hand from hell. That's what I'm going to offer him. That's what I'm going I'm to get him. Right. Last one. We asked Connor about his ambitions after this, and he said he wasn't looking any further ahead than this fight. What's your, what's your ambitions if you get through? He can because he, he can't give you that answer. He, uh, you know, I don't have any ambitions either. I, 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 all I'm focused on right now is this fight and this fight only. And just just making a statement out of this. Oh. Interview me Sunday, and I'll give you the answer. You know what I mean? No problem. Best of luck of the weekend, Sammy. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Okay.